hello guys and welcome to game rewards so let's start with the video so let's first talk about these two items uh, these contain some variable call amount max stack stack ability and item name similarly with the other one which is called sushi so let's see how how it's gonna look like uh, when i play uh, the when i click on the sushi it stores the item variable and the amount uh, so let's see the inventory uh, it consists of 20 20 basically stack 1 stack 2 and stack 3 with 16 and uh, on adding this it makes uh, 656 so if i click on noodle it will just store the noodle yeah so let's see how this crypto works uh, let's uh, first the item it consists of some variables called it amount max stack stackables and item name so it's just an area to denote uh, with a sprite uh, so i am using uh, input event of area to denote so basically on clicking the item it's just checking the uh, uh, mouse click so if the mouse click uh, it store uh, the max stack to global inventory max item stack variable and similarly the stackable to the inventory stackable and create a variable called item which is a packed scene uh, basically it store that item node and the item details which is a dictionary of uh, basically variable of uh, this item mm -hmm. uh, because it changes depends on uh, according to item so it store these two and it runs the add item function on inventory global with variable item amount and item details item this uh, which is a pack scene basically this this scene uh, item detail uh, which you just stored using this variable and the amount uh, which is also a variable of this item and at last it frees itself it also has got a function called eat i will show you later so let's check uh, the inventory so inventory is just an array and this is the variable uh, which item uh, script accessing and one more thing this uh, this item global is an autoload of the inventory script which is this i am just accessing using inventory underscore global so let's see how it, the inventory work like so inventory is just an array with max stack uh, variable and item stackable variable which can be changed according to the item and a signal item edit uh, basically this signal will help you to update the uh, the visuals or anything uh, when the item edit so the item uh, so the add function uh, so the add item function has got three variables item amount and item details item is just a pack scene amount is just an int basically the amount of items uh, a number and item details is a dictionary so i am creating another variable inside the add item uh, basically a dictionary which i'm going to store inside inventory uh, why i'm using a dictionary because it gives me more flexibility to access the inventory uh, otherwise you can also use an array but I prefer dictionary 
तो इन साइड डिक्शनरी इट्स आइटम अमाउंट एंड आइटम डिटेल बेसिकली दीज थ्री सो वैन यू एड एन आइटम इट्स गोइंग टू चेक इफ द आइटम इज टेकेबल विद दिस सो इफ इट्स टेकेबल इट्स चेक द इन्वेंट्री साइज बेसिकली इफ इन्वेंट्री इज एम टी और नॉट इफ इट्स नॉट एम टी इफ इट्स नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो इट्स रन अ लूप इन साइड द एरे using inventory dot size for i in range of inventory dot size and it's check if that particular item is equals to that item you are just storing so if inventory dot i uh, which is index dot item which is stored uh, dictionary and accessing using this is equals to item if it's same basically if apple is apple so it's check the amount and add that amount so if it's not equal to zero it's just basically adding that amount to that item so if the inventory is zero basically an inventory is empty or if it's uh, not equal to item basically if it does not match it's just uh, store that item with amount and with item details and append basically store the details uh, basically store this dictionary uh, with the changes into the inventory using append dictionary and note this means if uh, the function execute it will going to terminate the further action the further code or the further function it will just stop here uh, if it's not true uh, it will just continue and return over here so now if the item is stackable so similarly first it checks the inventory is empty or not using invent uh, inventory dot size so if it's equal to zero and here i am checking the amount is less than mac item stack basically if stack and adds 20 and in the item amount is 10 uh, it will run this function this uh, it will run this logic so if item is less it will just store the details basically the item the amount and the item detail item variables into the inventory using inventory dot append so if and the inventory size equals to zero and the amount is greater than max stack so basically if the amount is 50 and the amount stack is 20 it's going to run the loop using the number amount divided by item max stack so basically 50 divided by 20 which means you want to get two uh, and it's going to run two times and add the item and the amount is equal to max because it's uh, going to be a full item it's going to be a full stack and the details so basically it's going to uh, be a 20 20 stack uh, which makes a 40 uh, and the rest 10 is going to be added using this logic so if the amount uh, if the remainder is greater than zero I am creating another dictionary, uh, basically a next dictionary uh, and storing the item. Now I need one more variable. So basically the remaining 10 items it's going to be stored using this item next and storing that this variable into inventory using append.
so this logic is when uh, you have got uh, when your inventory is empty uh, basically at the starting because it uh, the inventory is going to be a null so that's why i'm using uh, i am using this now if uh, there is an item already inside inventory so this logic won't going to work it will run so i am using a loop uh, you in range of inventory dot size uh, if there is one item it's going to run one time and checking if that item is equal to item basically if apple is apple or if mango is mango so it's going to now i am checking if that amount plus the amount i am going to add or the new item going to add is less than max item stack basically if the stack is 20 and the item inside the inventory is uh, 5 and the amount of uh, new item is 4 so 5 plus 4 is less than 10 so it's going to run this logic so it's just going to add the amount to that index of the inventory so, so the next is if the amount is greater than the stack so it's going to check if the inventory dot i basically that index amount plus the amount that, that the item is adding is greater than the stack of uh, that item and the inventory dot i the amount is not equal to max item stack so here i am checking that if the, the total amount is greater than the stack and the uh, index the inventory index of that item has not a full stack um, basically it's not full uh, basically uh, so the if the stack is 10 max stack is 10 and the item inside the inventory is 5 and the new item amount is uh, 15 so it's going to learn, run this logic so i am running another loop for y in range of the total amount divided by max stack so for example the max stack of that item is 10 and the new amount is uh, 6 plus 15 21 so it's going to run two times it's going to sim add the item details and going to append so 21 divided by 20 gives a remainder of 1 so i am checking same if the remainder is not equal to 0 it's going to add and here i also need one more in detail so it's going to add that new uh, the remaining item in next uh, index of the inventory so it's going to add the item uh, using append inventory dot append dictionary next um, basically the remaining one in next index of the item so it's going to be a 10 10 and 1 in the inventory and i am going to remove inventory dot remove one uh, basically the because it's going to be replaced by um full stack uh, here so that's why i'm re removing that index instead of using this you can just uh, add the i amount uh, to the full stack uh, using inventory i dot amount equal to full max stack uh, but it will just increase the amount of code uh, because now here you need to uh, subtract one of that index so this code is for when the item is equal to item basically if apple is equal but if we are comparing it with mango basically the new item is mango 
so you, you need to run this if amount is less than equals to max item stack it will add this add the detail and append it into inventory so here at the end i'm using uh, return it will just end the logic here it won't going to run past it and basically it won't going to run this code if the logic here is true but the new item is mango and logic doesn't work here so it will return false and it will instead uh, you are going to check if the amount is less than equal to max stack so it will just add that item which is a mango with amount and details uh, of that item and append it into inventory store it into inventory and terminate the function here but if the stack is greater so same amount divided by max item stack um, basically if uh, the amount is 20 and the stack is 10 it's going to run two time and if the remainder is zero it won't going to run this but if the amount is 21 and the stack is 10 so it's going to run this two time and the remainder is going to store into the next dictionary using dictionary.next and here also we need one more thing so uh, it's going to store here the remainder one using this it's uh, the code is just repeating um, but it makes it easy to understand so the new item so this ends the dictionary and i am using input in inventory to see the items stored in the inventory and uh, this is nothing related to the uh, inventory so here i am using uh, one more thing uh, here i am creating an in instance of the stored item uh, because we are storing that scene and directly into the inventory so you can run the function of that instance and you can even um, use uh, those uh, stored variables here uh, so let me show you how it works the function inside that item is eat uh, it's going to be print it's going to print it and let's see how it's going to work if I hit this and press that it's going to print it three times because in the stack is uh, three times because there are three stacks as the amount of item is 56 and let me show you what I'm talking about 20 and this so it's if the item is not stackable if the node is not stackable yep it's going to add it one time with the variable store but you can change that so this wrap up my modular inventory video i hope you like it so please like share and subscribe and support me and help me to reach 1k uh, right now my target is 1k subscribers that's all for this video